If you feel like your medical costs are increasing, you're not alone. Lisco explains why it's important to know right now how you'll pay for medical bills when you're retired. If you think Medicare is all you need when you're retired, just know there's a lot more to it. Medicare does not cover all of your medical expenses in retirement. Even adding supplemental insurance isn't enough to pay for everything. And if you need long-term care, Medicare likely does not cover that at all. That is usually covered by Medicaid, which is used primarily by people with very limited finances. We're talking about 20% of Americans. That means many Americans will have to pay for long-term care themselves. According to the Census Bureau, in just 10 years, there will be more adults over the age of 65 than people under the age of 18. And according to a recent AARP survey, 9 out of 10 adults between 50 and 80 years of age want to age at home, not in a nursing care facility. Now, both can be expensive. Millions of Americans are taking care of elderly family members, spending time and money to help. If you do not want to be dependent on family, though, talk to a financial advisor. Some people have an Enough money to self-insure, but others choose to buy long-term health insurance. That can be quite expensive, and it's important to know what it covers and what it doesn't. Also, add an inflation rider to the policy if possible. That protects you against price increases in the future, which are bound to come. If your goal is to age in place or live at home and have extra care, know that many improvements you make to your home to help with accessibility can actually be tax deductible. Again, bring all of your questions to a financial advisor so they can guide you. Let's